And I'ma need all of my dollars on corporate So hand me the money, I divvy the pie I'ma give all of my people a portion To build them a fortune, I'm flipping the ride I can't be mixy when iffy the vibe And 40 on 50 is really the time Why is you all on my phone like you want me Like you wasn't pushing the kids to the side I don't know if you bitches are thinking I'm blind Cross on my crosses and dot on my eyes Done with your efforts, I'm dealing with pressures I know it's a lesson, that's worth it the why What's good? It's Chase and Barry D, and today we're doing a reaction video. We're going to be doing something new, something new, you feel me? We're going to be reacting to 10 scary videos, creepy beyond debate. Nah, I'm going to need y'all to go get your little pillow or teddy bear or whatever y'all need. Because if y'all get scared, I'm not going to be there to hold your hand. All right? Y'all going to have to deal with it on your own. If something start happening to you at night, guess what? I'm not going to be there. I'm not going to be there. All right? Shoot, I got my... What you got? I need me a teddy bear, bro. But that's enough talking. We're going to get straight into it. Now, I don't know what y'all watching me for, bro. Scary videos are creepy beyond debate, so let's stick to finding out Hell if they no. are real or fake. Number 10. AJ and her friend are hiking the Glacier National Park in Montana when they see a bear charging towards them. The bear sighting be See, the thing is, I don't watch no videos like this, bro. I ain't trying to get scared. Becomes even more terrifying when they lose track of it somewhere below. It could come up the small embarkment to charge at them, but instead it changes courses and runs towards a second tour group. They frantically Hell scream no, to bro. try and keep- I don't go into no wilderness or nothing like that, bro. It's just... You will never catch me trying to get scared. Actually, I'm trying to get scared right now. I'm over here watching this. Never mind. Forget, forget what I just said. The bear away, but it's of no use. The animal is far from scared as it runs straight into them. She literally just said, don't run. I don't know if you're supposed, you supposed to not run from bears, but if I see a bigot... If I see a bear coming after me, bro, I'm not just going to sit there and let it eat. Or should I say straight through them? As it turns out, the bear is more interested in getting a wild goat that just so happens see, to be on the other running? side. See, he's not just running? The goat not but just... Uh, them have tried just to run away, he not which is a natural freaking just sitting there? The he running for a bear running down on you. Then the scary situation would have gone from a bear sighting caught on video to something much worse. Number 9. A man and a woman are enjoying a private plane ride when suddenly their pilot slumps over and becomes unresponsive. Watch the trees and you'll see the plane is really sideways and they are really freaking out. <laughs> It looks like she is going to take off her safety belt and jump when the pilot springs back to life and everyone starts laughing. Everyone but her. <laughs> Do you think this joke went too Man, far? Fuck no. I think bro, there's a certain line between that tasteful and bro, terrifying I that they I would have jumped out. And any he is not going to kill me. I kill myself. Closed probably isn't the best idea. And then y'all going to have to eight, live with the guilt. A ghost Should keeps never slamming that. this closet door, according to Kevin Summer. It happened while doing housework, so he puts a camera on a shelf and waits. At 1 minute and 52 seconds, the whole closet is shown. It's a small area crammed with items and no one is hiding inside. This creepy event was scary enough to make him no longer want to live there. And put the house up for sale, Kevin says. Do you believe this was paranormal? I hey, think I might. Crazy thing is, bro, that shit real, bro. All that, y'all don't believe in that? Hey, that shit real. Don't play with it. Number seven. 
A real demon sighting is caught on camera, according to an uploader named Esoteric oh. Boy. A dark shadow haunting his room. He lightens the photo to reveal a tall, mysterious figure with horns. Strangest of all, the alleged demon has a goat-like face and no reflection in the mirror, considering he has editing software. I think this could possibly be photoshopped. But if not, then oh, it's time never to go into the room again. Number 6. A man has a rather big problem in a small Hold room. Hold on, bro. I'm gonna go close my doors real quick. I'm over here again. Mm -hmm. Fuck that. You got me fucked up. For real. <sighs> Alright, I'm back. My fault, my fault, y'all. My fault. His lights are turning on and off on their own, and he can't figure out why. Across from him is a light switch that he is standing nowhere near. Not that pressing the light switch makes much of a difference. The light keeps turning on and off in rhythmic intervals regardless, like something's trying to communicate to him its presence. After five Hell minutes, nah, it finally stops Get through out. no doing of its own, and it never happens again. He shows every wall except the one to his immediate left, so perhaps the second person is standing by a dimmer switch to fake this video. But what's weird is how, almost two years ago to the very day, he caught something on camera that was bizarre. A door that kept opening on its own. No Get one out. is visible on the other Get side out, of the door when it Get already out. opens, like the lights. The door only did this for a single day and never again. Was a ghost to blame. Number 5. This security video of a bike warehouse in the Netherlands shows no one is around when a ghost decides to take one for a midnight spin. It doesn't get very far, and the object falls to the ground. This video could be fake, because the all-white floor is a perfect color to hide a fishing line tied to the back. Or maybe it's just haunted. Either way, coming hey, to your you job know. and finding a bike on the floor. You really and don't know. Finding this caught on tape would be beyond creepy. Number four. TF141 Ghost goes exploring an abandoned house. One he found. See, people that be going to explore abandoned houses and stuff like that, bro. Y'all just asking for it. You will never see me trying to do that. I don't even like going to haunted houses. Like. Like, for Halloween and stuff. Like, nah, bro. Nah. Found on a secret blog about haunted locations in his hometown. He walks slowly across a rotting floor that can barely support his weight. And apparently the floor isn't the only thing left rotting in this house. As you can see, I mean, it's definitely abandoned. It's been abandoned for, I would say, quite some time now. Bro. Give you a grand tour of the kitchen. The tour of the abandoned house. It's kind of creepy in here, I'm going to be honest. Check out this little door. Bro. I was really hoping I'd find something. I have no idea what that is, so I'm not going to touch that. This mysterious object has You're been You're touching everything else in the house might as well. Paper ...and left hanging. I have no idea what this is, but I'm afraid that it was once attached to someone. I totally forgot there's an upstairs. Oh, Bro, these are rickety stairs. It's about 20 degrees. It's kind of weird. Oh, and what's over here? There is a Bible, bro. <laughs> there's a there's a Bible, bro. There's a Bible next and that to thing, the house. It looks like that's the only thing that's intact, bro. Oh my God. A hundred toys. The way the book is facing the camera is creepy. Like it was left there on purpose, perhaps to guard against some evil in this room. Maybe an exorcism on someone possessed by a demon took place here. With that in mind, you what he does know. next is very questionable indeed. I'm gonna grab this Bible. Why? 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 Take it with me, because I might need it on the way out. Alright, time to go. <laughs> I'm just going to leave this here. That's really... Hopefully, removing the book didn't free something from that attic space. 
Besides that, I mean, just gonna disrespect it by just throwing it like that, bro. During an exorcism, anyway. And on top of that, discarding the book without a care seems like really bad luck to begin with. Oh, and one more thing. More bad news, of course. I think there may have been more clues in this hole at the top of the stairs. But what was hiding in there could not have been good. I think I might even see a face. Number three. What is up? We are back, and right now we just hit a uh, random, offended, haunted, like, really haunted house, apparently. Uh, New Hope, PA is well known for a lot of abandoned, maybe haunted. Honestly, is that trespassing? Could y'all get arrested for that? Because y'all need to, for real, make that shit haunt you in jail. Paranormal sites. All right, guys, so like I said before, we are exploring a really haunted house in a really haunted town. Apparently, I don't know the exact story on it, but I tell you, all of the people left because this house for being so, like, haunted or, like, paranormal. Yeah. Like Kyle McGran goes exploring upstairs and while filming random rooms. A person briefly appears in the mirror. It could have been one of his friends, but this person is covered in darkness despite standing in an area that's well lit. At the other end of the house is a small boarded up attic that fills them with dread upon entering. Bro, this room is creepy. Oh, literally left a lot of stuff. Shoes. Yeah. Yo, the movie is called Without a Trace. I know it wasn't Why you pick it up? movie, but finding a videotape called Without a Trace in the middle of an attic of an abandoned house where the family mysteriously disappeared is not a good sign. Nor is anything that's stained red. Yeah, it's red in there. Oh my god. Some sort of scary voice is caught on tape. One belonging to a ghost or a demon that none oh. of them seem to hear at the time. They go downstairs into an old creepy basement that what kind of stairs are though? You know, I'm, I think I'm overreacting because I'm I'm not the one I'm not the one doing it. I'm not the one doing it. But if I ever, bro, you those stairs, no, 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 no. That makes them feel so overwhelmed with fear that they only make it one step further before they turn around. Something tells me this is where the family still is. It seemed that whatever haunted this family has only grown stronger over time and drives Kyle's group away in less than 10 minutes. Number two, a ghost hunting crew called the Singapore Paranormal Investigators go exploring. The abandoned Bucket Brown Cemetery, no, constructed in 1922, this is one of the largest burial grounds in the entire country. No, so if no. any place were to no. be haunted, it would be here. They light candles to attract spirits and soon read an energy spike on their paranormal equipment. They take a picture of the darkness ahead and think they've caught something paranormal in the shape of a glowing orb. I played this part in slow motion and discovered this strange orb is really a street sign reflecting the flash of the camera. I don't think they were purposefully faking this part and probably thought it was real paranormal evidence at the time because they were scared. The ghost meter swirls with another buildup of paranormal energy and a solid black orb comes out of the equipment, or more likely an insect. Later that night they think they see something fly over the candles in the area. I don't see anything here, but maybe you do. Their camera stops working shortly after they see it. So maybe there was a ghost after all. I've got a challenge for you. Hell Since no. you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. The adventurer Abdullah Al Anbar heads to the Devil's House of Evil Horror, an abandoned house somewhere in Saudi Arabia that's haunted by a poltergeist, or also known as a djinn. It doesn't take the explorer very long to discover how the house got its nickname. Whatever is in here is beyond creepy. Bro, y'all asking for shit, bro.
much to your surprise, you gonna run towards door it? opens at the same time. It's like he's being invited inside. We all saw the door slam by itself, but I bet you didn't see this elusive shadow person crouch out of sight when he first enters at 5 minutes and 10 seconds. His flashlight begins to flicker as paranormal energy gathers all around. He can sense something malevolent is near. Bro, why? The door is slamming repeatedly by itself. No one is hiding on the other side. That's when the djinn tries to keep him here forever. <laughs> Heavy footsteps follow him down the stairs as he bolts from the house of evil. I'd say the house lived up to its name that night based on his paranormal evidence. These are the scariest videos I've come across in quite some time. So you know what that means. Bro, that was a 10 scary videos. That's creepy beyond debate, bro. That last one, God. See, that's why y'all need a pillow. Y'all need a pillow or a teddy bear or something, like for real. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all think about the reaction. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the video. I don't know what y'all watching me for, bro. Hundreds on YouTube. Bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money. The pressure be calling. Left on my blessings. I feel like I'm falling.